What if you don't need to live in pain and suffering? What if you could give up your karma and have a life of abundance and joy? What if you could start creating magic and miracles that you never thought were possible? Get ready to listen, share, and experience the magic that is you. Now, here's the host of Creating Abundance with Ease radio show, Dr. Helen Gitlovich. Welcome, I am Dr. Helen Gitlovich. I'm Creating Abundance with Ease, and today our show topic is penny for your thought, dollar for your feelings. What if thoughts are what is keeping you stuck where you are? What if feelings are what's keeping you from having joy and ease? Let's play with the ideas of what are thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and how we can change our lives instead of being stuck in that kind of utopian ideal that we have to have always always be happy or always be sad and how important our feelings. What if it's not? What if we can function totally different? Because magic is everywhere. Abundance is everywhere. It's just for us to choose. And with me, Dr. Helen Gitlovich, I am kind of like medical doctor, but I'm also an artist. I'm also a coach, life coach. I'm also a lot of different things. And I'm also a teacher and founder school of Akashic Records. So there is many hats that I'm wearing. And yet I always dealt with my feelings, my thoughts, my emotions. They always drain me down. There is a scale of emotion that was created years ago and if you look at the scale the emotions are way at the bottom the emotions the feelings uh what are the emotions and feelings they are anger shame blame regret they are being um feeling guilty feeling um upset so all of those like we call negative feelings, actually just feelings. They're not negative, they're not positive, they're just feelings, but they have very low vibration. If you think of vibration, no scale, let's say it goes from zero to a million. So those emotions are under a hundred a lot of times, probably under 20 uh, megahertz. It's, and some of them, are so low, like apathy and depression, then some people cannot even get out of those feelings until somebody kicks them out by getting them angry. Like fear and anger are higher vibration than depression and uh, sadness a lot of times. Because they're just vibration. They don't have the right and wrong feelings with that. Let's look at other states, which is the spaces of being. People say emotions are happiness. Happiness is not an emotion. Joy is not a feeling. They are pretty much spaces of being. Happiness, joy, love, gratitude. And I'm talking about unconditional love. Not the love that we talk every day because If we think of love, it has thousands of definitions. Brotherly love, fatherly love, romantic love. They all definition. But what I'm talking about, spaces of being of joy, happiness, the unconditional love, consciousness, awareness, those are spaces of being. It's where you're being yourself. Think of a moment when you actually experience joy and happiness. Did you actually have thoughts in your head? No. Because thoughts, feelings, and emotions are lower vibration. They are electrical vibrations of this reality. 
almost like a, think of it as a virtual vibrational reality. Think of it as pretty much kind of like sticking your fingers in a socket and it's like, and that's how you feel in this reality, right? Under stress, electrical shock. That's what thoughts, feelings, and emotions produce. I'm exaggerating with sticking your fingers into the socket. Don't do that. Because you're actually being that in this reality. When you're functioning from thoughts, feelings, and emotions, you're under that stress, which creates a total jittering, just like the shock from electricity. Because electricity is going through your body. What if we can function from the acoustical vibration? An acoustical vibration is being, knowing, perceiving, and receiving that space of being who we are. We are that. But instead of being that and vibrating at the highest vibration, a lot of modalities are talking about higher you, lower you. That would be probably equivalent of being in the higher you instead of lower you. So what if we be us with no point of view? And what if we can give up your thoughts? I'll give you a penny if you give up your thoughts. If you give up your feeling, maybe I'll give you a dollar or not. <laughs> um, it's funny, um, in one of the classes, because majority of things I talk about is uh, from Access Consciousness that was created by Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness. And Gary once asked somebody, how much would you like for your problems, for your thoughts, for your feelings? I think he was talking about problems. And he's like, would you give it up for a penny? And she's like, no, because I created them. I spent so much time creating all those problems and I'm not ready to give them up for just a penny, probably a million dollars. So what if that's what's limiting you? The idea that you have to be, you have to, be willing to give up all your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And a lot of people say, oh, but then I'll be like a robot, like a machine with no feelings and emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a few moments of my life where I functioned at acoustical vibration when everything was easy, everything was wonderful. And at that time, I decided it's so hard to function at that high vibration, so I jumped back into the feelings and emotions. But I didn't feel like a robot. On the contrary, when we are in that space of being, everything is available. You can have thoughts, feelings, and emotions, but they automatically become higher vibration. They automatically... Um, create something different so it's easier for you. So what if it's not that? So what if everything that you thought is true and real is actually opposite of what you thought? Everything is opposite of what it is. Everything is opposite and nothing is opposite of what you appears to be. Everything is opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. That's how our brain functions with electrical vibration. But if we say that phrase, by the way, that phrase called crazy phrase is amazing tool to get you out of your thoughts, feeling and emotions. So let's say it together. Everything is opposite of what it appears to be and nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. Huh. I feel better because <laughs> this morning I was stressed out. Seriously, I was in my thoughts, feelings and emotions completely because 
this show was in about five minutes or 10 minutes and suddenly my internet disappeared. <laughs> well, it didn't disappear, but it became totally unstable. It was there one second and then not there another. Um, so I asked them to restart and suddenly it's here. How does it get any better than that? And I had to expand, I had to move beyond the function of thoughts, feelings, and emotion because my thoughts was, oh my God, it's not going to happen. My feelings was, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, that was my feeling. <laughs> I was like so scared that I fail you. Um, feeling guilty, the emotions of guilt, shame, and blame, and all of those actually contracting even more and even more not allowing the internet to work. Because when we are in those electrical vibrations, it actually creates the electrical wave, which kills electronics. I mean, seriously, I've fried computers, I've fried phones, I've fried iPads where I had to restart them. They, and actually one of the phones, um, I used to have Samsung. Well, actually uh, somebody convinced me to get the Samsung years ago. And somehow, sent, like the phone before that was working fine. But with Samsung, I fried it every two to three months. So I would bring it in and say, it doesn't work. I kind of didn't explain that I have my feelings, thoughts, and emotions running crazy. And the electrical shock kind of like killed it. But I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. It doesn't work. <laughs> and they looked at it like, yeah, doesn't look like it's damaged, but it doesn't work. Probably some internal uh, problems. So they would send it, give me a new one. Two months later, I was back in the shop. So what if we don't have the fry electronics? What if we don't have to function with thoughts, feelings, and emotions? What if we can function from being, receiving, and perceiving? And it is time for our first break of the show. And you've been listening to Creating Abundance with Ease with myself, Dr. Helen Gidlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease on the Inspired Choices Network. And when we return, we'll continue to talk about thoughts, feelings, and emotions. We'll be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past, and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome forward, everyone. I don't like welcome back. 
I am Dr. Helen Gitlovich. I'm creating abundance with ease. And today our show topic is penny for your thought, dollar for your feelings. This is about thoughts, feelings, and emotions show. And how many of those do we have? Every second, every millisecond, at least a thought going through your mind. But guess what? 99.99.99% of all those thoughts, feelings, and emotions actually do not belong to you. Surprise! Because we are psychic sponge. We are actually, I'm not kidding you, we're like a sponge for those thoughts, feelings, and emotions. We pick them up from everyone and everything in, depends on how aware we are in the vicinity of a few miles to hundreds of miles. That's why we have so many of them. Because when you meditate, you actually coming into the space of you. Remember like before we went on the break, I was talking about the space of you doesn't have thoughts, feelings and emotions. So when you meditate, when you're doing bars, and I'll talk about bars in a second, or when you're doing body processes or any um, modality where you actually are raising your vibrations and eliminating other people vibrations from your field, you actually start vibrating higher, but also there is not that many thoughts, feelings and emotions. Your monkey mind slows down your monkey mind actually allows you to kind of like be you in that space of acoustical vibration of being, receiving, perceiving, and knowing. And as I said, access is not the only modality, but like when you're doing Akasha Krakas, when you are uh, meditating, when you're doing a lot of other stuff, a lot of times those thoughts, feelings, and emotions just disappear. How cool is that? And what if you don't have to experience all those other people thoughts, feelings and emotions and to prove that they're actually not yours? Because people need proof, right? At least for me, I had to, in order to kind of like know that, I have to test it myself. That's the nature of us. So, my invitation to you right now, because uh, if they're not yours, then they probably belong to somebody else, right? So let's ask, like whatever is going on in your mind right now, who does that belong to? Hmm? Who does this belong to? And again, who does this belong to? And who does this belong to? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling lighter and more expanded. What if you drop your barriers and expand and ask it again? Who does this belong to? And who does this belong to? By doing that, by letting go of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions that keep you down in the lower vibration, you actually raising your vibration now. Okay, who does this belong to? Cool. And how much like when you're in the presence of somebody who's depressed, you start going down and down and down. So what if you don't have to be a fact of other people's vibrations? What if you don't have to pick up their thoughts, feelings and emotions? Okay, who does that belong to? Who does this belong to? Okay, that's more space of me. Because as I said, I was picking up a lot of people vibration on the top of my own frustration of not being able to get on the internet. I was picking up everybody's vibration in Miami. By the way, I'm in Miami right now. That's why you see the bed behind me instead of my wonderful living room. I started traveling how does it get any better than that 
And I just facilitated an amazing three-day body class um, in Miami, which was awesome. I co-facilitated with Feather Alasis. And um, that's like when we started, there was a lot of thoughts, feelings, and emotions with people, mine included. And by the end of the three days, it was just so awesome. It literally, there was not a thought, not a feeling and no emotions in the class. There was such calmness and peaceful space of being. I love it. Um, and it's actually started going on pretty much like within a couple of hours of the body class. So anytime when you run, as I said, bars or body classes, body processes, it shifts your energy so you don't have to pick up other people's shit. It's as simple as it gets. You're unlocking all those vibrations from your body and it goes away. And that's what bars do. If you never experience bars, I strongly, strongly suggest that. Find the practitioner, find the class near you because they're going everywhere. Um, now with COVID, it's interesting energy, but still people are doing maybe smaller classes, maybe online. Just choose something different. And this is about you choosing more because when you are in the thoughts, feelings and emotions vibrating at a very low level, it's very hard to see what else is possible. What can I choose beyond that? Because I like visual images. Like to me, picture worth a thousand words. You can describe it, but if the person does not understand it, it's hard to deal with that. So let's say you are in the basement. And there is a small area, like, you know, like those um, dig out basement where you're just a little bit above the ground and you're trying to see the sky. You cannot, you don't even know sky exists because all you can see is maybe a little bit of the street level, maybe even not that, okay. Let's say somebody tells you, oh, you can go to the first floor. Okay, on the first floor, you have more available. You maybe can see a couple of floors up. If there is a building next to you, well, not much view, but if there is nothing, you might see a little bit more. And then the higher you go in the building, the more it actually opens up. And eventually you can see the sky. And the sky is a the limit. There is no more definition. There is no more um, kind of like that depression. That's when you're being you, when you're vibrating at the high level. And by the way, you don't have to stay on the top floor. If you have a fear of heights, you can always go down. It's much harder to go up than down. And then it's another point of view. So what if you let go of all of those points of view? What if it's as easy to come up as come down? What if it's just a choice to vibrate at the thoughts, feelings, and emotions or vibrate at the uh, being, receiving, and perceiving? What if it's a choice to vibrate at the anger, shame, blame, regret, or fear or doubt Ooh, yeah, or happiness, joy, love, and peace. What, and communion with everything and everyone and oneness. What if it's just a choice? What if there is no limitation to that? What if you can choose just by asking, okay, who does this belong to? Let's do this again. Who does this belong to? And by the way, don't believe me. Don't trust me. Don't kind of like make me into one of those people that you have to, oh, whatever she says is a gospel. No, no. If it 
if it's true for you, choose it. If it's not, keep choosing whatever you're choosing. I know my life has changed when I started using access consciousness tools. And it's about being. And it's not about changing who you are. That's a key word because a lot of people will tell you, oh, you have to change your behavior. You have to change, to imp you have to improve, self-improvement. Such a lie because you don't have to improve. All you need to do is just be you with no point of view, with no judgment. It's about giving up your limitations that you bought from other people. It's giving up not being you. So how much of not being you, you're choosing every single day? Like, look at, let's say, well, now we cleared some of it, but let's say, last hour, let's take last hour of your life. How much were you trying to fit in with other people? How much were you thinking about what to say, how to say, so not to offend another person, what to be, how to act, what to choose? And what if it is much easier? What if you can just ask? Who does this belong to? And the funniest thing, there is noise outside. And I immediately went into the thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Oh, how is it going to affect the podcast? And how it's going to, oh my God, it's going to ruin. And it's like, hmm, wait, who does this belong to? And another marvelous tool is interesting point of view interesting point of view. I have this interesting point of view. And with all that noise, actually, it's time for our second break of the show. How cool is that? So we don't have to listen to people outside. And when we return, um, we'll talk more about thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and how we can be functioning. And you've been listening to Creating Abundance with Ease with myself, Dr. Helen Gitlevich on Inspired Choices Network. We'll be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life you are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Magic and abundance are everywhere. What if you could tap into abundance and start creating your life with complete and total ease? Working with Dr. Helen Gitlovich will give you exactly that, total ease in creating abundance in your life. Dr. Gitlovich creates classes all over the world, both in person and online. She works with you to create abundance with your money, with your body, with your relationships, with all areas of your life with total ease. Connect with Dr. Helen Gitlovich at creatingabundancewithease.com. Her contribution in your world will be a noticeable gift in a very short period of time. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome forward, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich. I'm creating abundance with ease. And today our show topic is hang it for your thoughts, 
dollar for your feelings. Okay, who does this belong to? Yep, we were talking about that right before we went on a break. And by the way, people asking, why do I say welcome forward instead of welcome back? Because we can't go back. We can go only forward. And that's what I like about whenever I'm welcoming you guys to the show, after the break, I'd like to say welcome forward so we can move forward. We don't have to be stuck in the past. We don't have to be stuck with thoughts, feelings, and emotions. We can move past that. And especially, as I said, 99.99% of all those thoughts, feelings, and emotions are not ours. So who does that belong to? Because I like to do show with people who are not in their thoughts, feelings, and emotions so we can move even more forward, more into the space of being. And how much more can we create in the world when we are actually in the space of being each one of us? What if we be in oneness all the time? How our life would be different? Um, I was talking to somebody yesterday and um, it's interesting. She is so used to me complaining about things and she complaining. And suddenly we didn't have anything to complain about because suddenly things shifted. And well, right now I'm in Miami, I'm on vacation. Well, working a little bit because I'm doing my show still, <laughs> which is kind of like interesting because um, I said, okay, from Monday, I'm actually starting my vacation. Well, guess what? Uh, Monday, I facilitated with somebody. Tuesday, I did an interview with the new facilitators. Uh, then I listened to a class. Then I did the Facebook Live. Then I did something else. And then I went to the beach. And it was such an openness. So I was working. And I'm like, wait. I haven't been resting much, which is kind of cool. But what if you could look at your work as playtime? How much of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions actually make it dreary and kind of awful because you've decided the work has to be awful? What if it doesn't have to? What if you can be yourselves at work? Be in that space of being without any judgment. Just for a second, imagine yourself. I know a lot of you work from home and it's much easier now to imagine that space of, huh, what else is possible now? And who does this belong to? And how much of that dreariness and those upset and those anger are from people at work, the co-workers. If you're actually working in a building with somebody and they're not feeling well, guess what? You're picking up their vibration. You're aware. You can be aware without taking it on. What if you can just let it go? What if you really, really let go of taking care of other people? Because a lot of taking on their thoughts, feelings, and emotions is part of taking care of them, making their life easier. And believe me, it's not cognitive. It's not conscious. It's totally unconscious. It's, it's in your subconscious. A lot of it we learn as kids. How many of you, when you were children, were trying to make your mother feel better when mother, father, grandma, aunt, whoever, uh, you were trying to make them feel better because you didn't want them to be upset. So you took on their feelings, their thoughts, and their emotions without even thinking. You didn't know what you were taught what you were doing but think of an infant when mom is upset 
the infant starts crying. And they say, oh, it's because those emotions go through in the milk. Well, they go energetically, not just in the milk, in the milk of the mother. The infant picks it up. He's trying to make mother feel better. And a lot of times when mother picks up the infant, she does feel better. Or father picks the infant. Anytime when we pick up infant, the infant, like a sponge, takes away all those thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And a lot of infants actually are not even holding them on. They're just like, oh, cool. Oh, those are just vibrations. Cool, I can play with that. They take it and they throw it away. What if we be like infants? And I can see some comments in the chat. It's like, no, never did that. Yeah, none of us did that. I know I did that for sure <laughs> all the time. And I learned that very early. And it's not just this lifetime. We've learned that from before. We've learned that um, pretty much millions of years ago. And this is about choosing something different now. Doesn't mean we stop being aware because it's a capacity. We are aware, we are always aware, but we judge it as a wrongness. The difference is if we are aware, we don't have to take it on. We can ask, okay, what, what's that? What do I do with it? Can I change it? And if yes, how can I change it? Because a lot of things and other people we cannot change. It's their shit. Let them deal with that. It's like picking up somebody's computer uh, and it's locked. So you need to send an email, but it's locked. Actually not you, they need to send an email and you're trying to send it for them, but it ain't working because that email needs to be sent by the person who owns the computer. You cannot send it from your account because it will go to nowhere. But if you give that computer, meaning the thoughts, feelings, and emotions back to that person, they can deal with that. They can send an email, they can send, they can do whatever they need to. This is their problem. I love the expression, not my problem. What if you use that? Think of somebody's problem right now that you're trying to solve. Cognitively, consciously, uncognitively, unconsciously, non-cognitively, whatever it is. I know I'm not using correct English, but a lot of times vibrationally doesn't matter. And just look at some problems that's not yours, somebody else's that you're trying to solve right now. You might not be even aware of some of those problems. And just say, not my problem. Again, not my problem. <laughs> and again, not my problem. <laughs> it makes me smile. <laughs> How are you feeling? Um, yeah, I think you're laughing too. So not your problem. 99% will be not your problem. Same like not your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And how much your life would be easier if you don't have to solve other people's problems. What if you can just be and choose? And by the way, it, I know a lot of people, as soon as I say, just be, immediately think of laying on a couch and watching TV. Nope, because laying on a couch and watching TV is two things you're doing. Being is totally different. Being is just being. And from that, it's a space. 
that you can function from. Being you is a space where everything gets done easy, with ease. It's when you actually choose something, do it and accomplish it almost like by magic. Just choose. And what if choice is much easier? Because I always joke that choice is six letter dirty word, like real, real bad word. Like think, and people was like, so what do I do? And I'm like, mm, I'm going to say like real bad word right now. It's a six letter choice. People, a lot of people, when they hear choice, first of all, they have no clue what they, that is. And choice is very simple. You just choose in the moment. And if it doesn't work, you choose something else. If it doesn't work, you choose something else. And you choose something else and keep choosing and keep choosing and keep choosing. It's about whatever you are um, being. It, it's, it's literally just choosing. A lot of people misidentify that or kind of like look at choice as decision. They look at the right choice, just like the right answer. It's not. They calculate, they compute, but a lot of it is thoughts. Like the calculation and computation are thoughts. So what if you don't have to think? What if you just choose? And I love the exercise. Um, like there are 10 keys to freedom in access. It's a wonderful book. I strongly, strongly recommend, written by Gary Douglas. And it talks about choice in 10 seconds increments because a lot of people, okay, choose now. Now is weird. I never know what now is. Now is like what, half an hour? Now is like for a day? Now is for a year? No, now is for 10 seconds. So think of, let's say, like right now, the world is insane. With the COVID, with isolation, it's easy to work with 10 seconds because let's say in 10 seconds, you'll get COVID and die. Puck and pot, but let's say it's possible. So what will you choose in the next 10 seconds? if your life will end in those 10 seconds. And I'm going to time us. I'm going to put the timer on so it's exactly 10 seconds. Because um, a lot of times people say, what is 10 seconds? Actually, I just realized it's time for our third break of the show. And you've been listening to me, Dr. Helen Gidlovich, on Creating Abundance with Ease. On Inspired Choices Network. And when we return, we'll do that exercise, uh, playing with 10 seconds and choice in 10 seconds. And we'll be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. 
Welcome forward, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today our show topic is penny for your thoughts, dollar for your feelings. And right before we went on the break, we were talking about choice and choosing for 10 seconds. And if you choose in 10 seconds, there might not be any thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And the difference between decisions and choice because if you're just joining us, because there is a huge difference between choice and decision, because decision has to be right. It's only one decision and it's forever. Choice is just a choice. You choose, it doesn't work, choose again. Very simple. So right now we are going to play with choice for 10 seconds. And as I said, let's say you're going to die in 10, in 10 seconds the asteroid, COVID, whatever. So what would you choose in the next 10 seconds that are going to be the last 10 seconds of your life? And pretty much I'm timing it so we know what the time uh, period, time kind of like, and start now, you're still alive, choose something else. So, basically, and now choose something else. So every 10 seconds, you can choose something different or the same. And if it's working for you, choose the same. Now choose something different or the same. It's just 10 seconds. Each choice creates awareness. Choose something else now. And another three more seconds and choose again and just think of it as freedom to choose choose again that's what says in the bible that we have free will because we can choose choose again because we gave up our choice when we are choosing the decision. So did you have any thoughts, feelings, and emotions during that time? Okay, you can you can continue with the exercise and you can do that exercise anytime when you're stuck. Because a lot of times we look at stuff and we're trying to make decisions. And think of even the energy, choice, versus decision. Decision is kind of like, to me, it's like, mm. choice is expanding. And it doesn't mean that you don't look at what that choice creates. This is more about choosing what works for you. And you can do that by asking questions. What my life will be in five years if I choose this? What my life will be in five years if I don't choose this? How much are you unwilling to look in the future to choose what works for you? Oh, actually interesting. How much are you not willing to choose for you? That's interesting. How much are you choosing for other people? How much are you choosing what's the right thing to do? What's the correct? What's moral, immoral, how much of that is playing into your decision-making? And I'm specifically saying decision-making, not choice-making. Uh, that's so wonderful. And our show is kind of coming to the end. We have only a few minutes left. But I would like you to uh, pound, kind of like think about about who you're choosing for. And that's going to be actually our next week's show. How much are you choosing or not choosing for you? Or who would you, who are you choosing for? So um, it's funny because, and it's about what, and um, kind of like looking at the energy of what works for you, what doesn't work. But instead we are looking what will work for another person. 
And again, not my problem. Ah, that's actually made me feel much better. So what if we start choosing for us instead of against us? And um, it's so funny, but that was the topic for next show. Who is, who is it you're choosing for? Also, I'm doing a few um, classes that you might be interested in. There's going to be a book club being you that I'm going to be part of being you facilitators creating that. It's going to be a few months project where we will be going through the book being you and each facilitator being you facilitator will facilitate a chapter and how much we can create. It's starting on the 18th of this month and you can go on the website and check it out. And also it's going to be free Zoom on December 19th, how much are you refusing to be you? Um, I'm also doing Akashic Records in December, which is uh, going to be December 5th and 6th. And it's going to be a body class in Israel. If you're um, close to Israel in January, January 7th, I believe. So if you have any questions, by the way, you can always send me questions before um, the next show. And how much can we create together if we will be out of our heads, out of our thoughts, feelings, and emotions, if we actually don't pick up other people's thoughts, feelings, and emotions? How much more present can we be in our lives if we choose more of functioning at the pretty much space of being? Because that's what it is. When we are getting out of thoughts, feelings, and emotions and raising our vibration into the space of being, everything becomes easy or ease. Remember, well, if you don't know access, there is a mantra. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. Ah, that's actually just shifted something. So let's do it together. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. And that's pretty much kind of like our show ends in about a minute or so. How much can we choose more for us instead of against us? Just think for a second. What if you chose more for us? How much our life would have more ease? And how much magic can we create? And I'm not shy to say we are magical. All those thoughts, feelings, and emotions are pretty much their purpose is to lower our vibration so we stop being magical. We stop being who we are. And this is about being, not doing. And we'll talk more next week on who is it you're choosing for. And just wanted to say how much I appreciate and grateful for everybody who is listening now and in the future. And we'll see you next week. Thank you for choosing to listen to Creating Abundance with Ease radio show. Dr. Helen Gitlovich will return next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. 
Until then, have fun using the tools of the week in your life and start creating magic in your life and your body.